Is it comfortable? No. Can't get much creepier than that, can you? That was the best thing I've ever done. We're Ben and Emily, and we usually live on our narrowboats travelling the UK waterways. Recently, we bought an old ambulance, kitted it out in three weeks, and hit the road for an Italian road trip. Since you saw us in last week's video, we've travelled north through Italy to a place called Bomarzo, which is north of Rome. We're here to visit a sacred forest of monsters. Are you ready to go to the uh, the forest of monsters? Yeah. That's quite bright, isn't it? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go see what it's all about down there. You're in for a treat. Time to go to the sacred forest. It's pretty weird. Let's go. That's the weirdest spare tyre holder I've ever seen. I seem to have a frog in my shoe today. In the 16th century, the Baron of Bomazzo created this sculpture park on his estate. It was a park of symbols in which knights and ladies could get lost in and figure out their imaginations. Wow. It fell into ruin for a very long time, but now they've rejuvenated it, cleaned it up, put a cafe in, it's made it fantastic. You've not been before, have no. you? I've not actually seen it yet, but I'm telling you all about it. Because I've read a bit. Really weird. It's interesting that she's, she's got, got six breasts. breasts. And sort of like dog breasts. She's beautiful. It's a great start. It's a good start. <laughs> I love how they kind of bloom out of the nature. Another six-breasted lady, dog. <laughs> That's a good one. You're not supposed to laugh at the poor woman. <laughs> The Sacra Bosco was commissioned in the 16th century by Francesco Orsini, who had the park built to help cope with the loss of his wife. It was designed by Piero Ligorio and the sculptures created by Simone Machino. It's full of obscure sculptures referencing myths and ancient gods. They're impressive to behold and inspire surreal and haunting landscape. I love how giant they all are. Is it cut out of the rock from here? Yeah. So this looks like a monster's head that you can stand in. You're not allowed to go down there anymore. It'd be creepy to come here at night, wouldn't it? Yeah. We've and if you, did, if you just like stumbled upon it though, can you yeah. imagine? <laughs> oh wow. Big bat. Sure about these chaps. Grumpy. What is going on there? Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you can get in. Say that again. I think there was water flowing through it. There's just too many pools and pools yeah, there must have be. been. Oh yeah, there's like an old pipe here. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And now for everyone's favourite, this guy. You can't get much creepier than that, can you? Paradise of acorn. Yeah. Is it comfortable? No. Some strange winged fish women. Wow. Looks uncomfortable. Crikey. I think that's the most normal looking thing, isn't it? That building right at the top. So we're going to make our way back to the van now but next we're heading further into Tuscany if we're already in Tuscany are we in Tuscany? I'm not sure <laughs> to some thermal spring bath thing never been to Whoa. anything like it I'm so oh, excited yeah. it might be that it's super busy at this time of day so by the time we get there so we might have to just get up really early and go in the morning, but that's where we're heading next. So before we go to the hot springs, the thermal springs, we're actually gonna go and have a look around the town of Bomazzo, because why not? I think it's a really pretty little medieval town, so we should have a look while we're here. Benny's yeah. starving. Yeah, I'm So we're gonna hungry. see if we can find something to make into some lunch. It's quite a hill to get up back to the van <laughs> and up to the town. Well, I loved it there. I thought it was incredible how that fellow had taken the rocks that were nestled in this valley, just naturally sat there and decided to carve them into 
loads of strange and wonderful creatures and reenact leaning buildings and Roman structures. I love that. I love that he's used imagination. I know that he didn't make it all, but it's just nice. I guess he designed it. Yeah, it's just nice when you see somebody take the environment and make it into something unique and beautiful. And pretty it's, weird and wonderful, I'd say. Yeah, and it also seemed like he inspired quite a few architects and artists that came afterwards. And there's uh, a few other places that have taken influence from this place, which is really nice to see. Yeah, I think if more people made the world weird and wonderful and artistic, it would make the world a better place. So I approve of that. Definitely, I love it. It's one of my favourite places. This is the third time I've come here. And uh, yeah, highly recommend you come and visit it. Super cool. I'll just pop back to the van, put something a bit cooler on. It's got really hot, hasn't it? It's getting warmer and warmer. <laughs> It's really steep. <laughs> That's so cool, it's like a shop that comes in the back of a van. <laughs> Like the Bailers. So with my terrible Italian, I managed to buy some, like 300 grams of some very nice looking tomatoes. Look at those. Oh, yes. And we got some like, just some like little oranges. You could, I could smell them straight away as well. Yeah. Three euros. I think that's a pretty good price. I think that's a fantastic price. But We've, how nice is it that this van just comes It's just pulled in. up on the street and he's selling his fruit and veg out of the back. And he's so friendly. And we've been in quite a few supermarkets and that is a lot cheaper yeah. than the supermarkets. Yeah. The supermarkets don't seem that much cheaper than England, really. Yeah. It feels old, doesn't it? It's really nice and cool in these shaded streets. It's got so hot. Oh, I'm not used to it. Oh, what a view. See snowy mountains in the distance. Can't believe there's snow here. <laughs> Anywhere near. Bomarzo was originally called Polymartium, meaning town of Mars. It teeters on a hill of volcanic stone and was the location of the Orsini family's palace in the 1500s. I think we've just walked all the way around the town and we can't work out how to get up there. I think we've just found the way in. Oh my, look at that. Magnificent walls. doesn't look real. <laughs> it's like a set from a film or something.
super quiet here. There's so many houses, but it's like no one around. Well, we have seen a few people, haven't we? Yeah, but... there's some activity, but it's very quiet. Okay, let's have some lunch and then let's go to those thermal springs. How are those tomatoes we got? Mm. So good. And the Matera bread mm -hmm. with a bit of Austrian cheese. Mm. We, did, we bought that cheese after we crossed into Italy though. Oh, was it Italian cheese? Mm. While we were eating our lunch, we spotted this strange little guy. We think it's a hummingbird fly or bee or something. Please let us know in the comments if you know what it is. We left Bomarzo and headed to the Thermal Springs, stopping off for a short break at this beautiful lake called Lake Bolsena. We continued on through the rolling green hills of Tuscany and through pretty little towns and villages. massive black cloud. I think we should just go to the springs now. Yeah, shall we? Should we check the weather to see if it is going to hammer it down in thing 10 it, minutes? Thing is, it's hot, hot water, isn't it? So it doesn't matter if it's raining. I've never been to anything like this before. Never? No. I'm Me excited. Me... And I don't know if Benny managed to catch it on the camera because we went past it really quickly, but you could see it from the road and it didn't actually look like it was, I mean, there was a lot of people, but it wasn't as busy as I thought it was going to be. No. And we drove, <laughs> we were I... just driving along the road and there's like part of, like, a, it was like a stream or something. There was a guy, he was just right next to the road, covered in mud. Yeah. Just like in the river, just, right next to the road, just, just like. Just floating like a frog. <laughs> it really freaked yeah, me out. I thought it was surprised that we were looking at him yeah. like, what, I'm not doing anything weird. It's cool. I just sat it. here with mud on my face in my undies. I just thought, um, <laughs> I thought it was a sculpture. I thought it was like, yeah. you know, a sculpture like, to say. Or like a how-to. Yeah. This is how you do it. <laughs> but it was a guy that scared me so much. It's just right there. Anyway, cool. So it's yeah. like a really nice campsite. Mm. I think you've got toilet emptying, the showers. I think there's even a washing machine. Um, bits and bobs, like, yeah, water. It's by far the busiest one we've been to. It's very it? busy. But it's, it's a very good price. Yeah. I think it's, what is it, 15 euros a night or something? 16, yeah, 16 a night. And you yeah. can just stay for the day if you want for like six euros or something. Yeah. But I think we're actually going to stay here for a couple of days and we'll just... We'll see how it goes. Chill out a little bit. We've we'll not see. got a huge amount of time Thermal left. Thermal spa looks less busy than I expected. I thought I'd be like barging people out of the way just to get my toe in some warm water. <laughs> oh my God. Like but as soon as we got it, the whole place stinks like eggs. Yeah, it's very sulfury. Apparently that's a health benefit, which I never knew before. Well, I'm it's... hoping I'm not going to smell too much like eggs, but there is a shower here too. But then if they use the same water here, egg everyone shower. just smells like eggs together. It's fine, Benny, don't worry, we'll just smell like eggs together. Yeah. Okay, well, shall we get on? As long our... as I don't have to like wrestle any old blokes out of the way just to... Just to get a damp ankle. Right, you're going to put your bikini on? <laughs> you know it. That is a big black cloud though, Benny. Yeah. Finally, I found my prawn shorts. Those old classics. <laughs> going to need them today. Prawn shorts. Is that what you're going to wear? Yeah. I'm going to leave the big camera here and take our smaller camera. That's why the look of this video is about to change. 
<laughs> Told you. You know how normally when it's a really hot day and you go and find some nice cool water to freshen up in and cool off yeah. in. Yeah. We're about to go and sit in loads of hot water. <laughs> it's Boy. about the minerals extending your life expectancy. Is that after the stress of all that the bumpy Italian, road. Italian drivers? <laughs> <laughs> There's like hundreds of little rounded pebbles. Funny that that's what was falling. I think we should go up to the waterfall. Yeah. Do you want to go up? This great. It's rejuvenating. your face. Trusting the words, shifting the pace. I'd like to see over the wall just a quick peek into beyond what we perceive. As possible, I know there lies another way. I never wanted to get out of there. I feel, I feel cleansed. That was the best thing I have ever done. <laughs> We are going to go back to the van now and have some dinner. Yeah, what an amazing experience. Incredible. And it's a, be it's a beautiful place as well. Yeah, the it is. It, it's so strange and unique. Oh, you can see it from there. Like the secret bit up here. I feel very relaxed. Most relaxed I've felt in a very long time. <laughs> Cleansed. Cleansed and relaxed. Here you go. This is a pretty good view. So this goes under the road and it's like steaming. Steaming up into the road. <laughs> Crazy, huh? It's such an incredible colour here. Just as we were about to get out, I just looked at my hand and noticed that my ring is like heavily tarnished. <laughs> and Benny said, oh Yeah, I meant to tell you that you're supposed to take your jewellery off before you go in because silver tarnish is in there. Ah, oh, that was that was incredible. Come here. <laughs> Highly recommend it. Good morning. Good morning. Well, our time has come to leave the hot springs. Oh, I don't want to go. It's been so amazing here. We've had a really lovely time at this lovely little campsite. It's very quiet. I bought some bread. I bought a beer. We've loved the hot yeah. springs. We've absolutely a loved it. A new experience for us both. Yeah. So like we've said before, this is a very good time of the year to come to Italy, I think, because it has been busy-ish there, but we've seen some reviews of those hot springs and I think it can get horrendously busy. It hasn't been bad, and we got a nice pool to ourselves, didn't we, a few times? I wouldn't say it was busy at all, it was good. No, it was really good. So yeah, definitely recommend coming at this time of the year if you're gonna come. So we're gonna leave it there for this week. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you don't risk missing our next episode. <laughs> we're gonna be heading up north, possibly to Bologna, but we're not sure yet, so it's gonna be a surprise for all of us. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next week.